According to International Intelligence Magazine, Depka file, sources say that Middle East direct peace talks could begin starting shortly. Palestinian talks interrupted in September after less than a week all will resume in January of 2011, straight after the uh, New Year following a quiet deal between the U.S., Israel, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia, Depka files, Washington sources disclosed. Obama administration officials, while admitting that two months is a long time in the Middle East, are upbeat after four developments swept aside the uh, last roadblocks. One, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu agreed to a second settlement construction freeze on a limited scale. The first 10-month moratorium ran out in September. Washington sources declined to say whether the second freeze was total or partial and what uh, exceptions were allowed to enable Netanyahu to get a decision through his security cabinet. Two, Saudi, Arabia, or Saudi King Abdullah and Egyptian uh, President Hosni Mubarak put their weight behind persuading Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas to return to the negotiating table with Israel as his only option. They told him to cancel all plans for UN Security Council recognition of a unilateral declaration of Palestinian statehood within pre-1967 boundaries. The PA chairman has complied with their demands. 3. In the two months before the talks resume, Abbas agreed to join the Saudi-Egyptian effort to patch up the quarrel between his Fatah and the Hamas extremists with a view to signing a reconciliation accord by early January so that the Palestinians would be represented uh, by a unified West Bank Gaza Strip delegation. Abbas has taken the first step of withdrawing from the Fatah Hamas talks uh, which began last month in uh, Damascus under the Syrian Jesus. 4. A high-ranking U.S. official will shuttle between Jerusalem and Ramallah in the weeks remaining up to January to make sure the uh, Israelis and Palestinians stick to their deal and don't change their minds. Depka Files Washington sources report that Barack Obama has not yet decided to whom to assign the task, but Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is uh, the favorite. 5. The one official who will no longer be seen on the Israeli-Palestinian peace track is George Mitchell. He secretly resigned as Presidential Special Envoy last month but agreed to delay the announcement until his successor is in place. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.